Hello there, I'm Karen Ross, a business coach and intuitive healer, and I'm here to introduce you today to the Mood Mover. This is a very quick change technique for shifting your internal state out of some level of stress or discomfort and into feeling good. It's very quick, it's slightly ridiculous, but it works really well, so I encourage you to give it a go. So a good way to try this is to firstly think of a time when you were stressed, when you wanted to be feeling differently. So if you were to think of a specific moment, it could be from yesterday, last week, last month, a year ago, it really doesn't matter. But I want you to go there for a moment and just notice what it feels like in your body when you are feeling stressed, nervous, anxious, wound up, furious, whatever that kind of level of stress is. And just see what are the sensations in your body. There might be tension in your shoulders, your hands might be clenched, your tummy might be butterfly or, or tense as well, your chest. Notice, does your head feel like it's boiling? Whatever those sensations are in your body, just really get a sense of them for a moment. We're not going to stay there for long, I just want you to really notice the feelings. And I'm assuming that it would be really nice for you and useful if you could shift those feelings, if you could change the sensations in your body. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I'm going to invite you to stand up if you can. Um, if you're in the office and you, and you can't do that, then sit on the edge of your chair with your sit bones. And in either case, sitting or standing, just plant your feet nice and firmly. If you are not in a private space right now to fling your arms around, then you may want to do this later. But um, watch anyway, because your whole nervous system is going to feel better after this, whether you actually do it right this minute or not. So we're planting our feet. The first thing we're going to do is just shake our hands really loose, letting your arms flop and letting your hands just be really loose like rattles on the ends of your arms. Shake, shake, shake. And then bring them up to above your shoulders. Then we're going to move our eyes up to the ceiling. Check that you don't tip your neck. Just keep move your eyes up, keep your chin down, and turn up the corners of your mouth as if to smile. Okay, so when you're looking straight up at the ceiling, uh, you cannot have a serious thought. Our brain just does not do serious thinking when we're looking straight up, so that's a really good thing to know. And when we are turning up the corners of our mouth, serotonin is automatically released into the body. That is a biological response. And serotonin is the happy, happy, joy, joy neurotransmitter. It makes us feel good. And then we're going to do one more thing. I'm going to invite you to take a breath. And we're going to go, yes, 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 yes. Do that with me. Breathe in. Yes, 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 <sighs> letting your arms relax down, giving your whole body a shake out, <sighs> and then let it just come to quiet stillness, and just notice how are you feeling in your body now. There is probably a fair amount of tingling going on, some energy singing around, might be feeling a little fuzzy in places, or kind of like the warm fuzzies. And notice, is there any sign of those old sensations at all in your body, or have they gone, gone? And most people at this point will say they are gone, gone. There is no sign of them whatsoever. And that is because you have just shifted the chemistry in your entire body out of adrenaline, out of cortisol, and into serotonin. And it's like dominoes, ch -ch 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 -ch. Your whole body in new chemistry in 30 or 45 seconds. So this is just about, it's a little bit like the plumber knowing where to tap. They might only come into your house for five minutes to fix a problem because they knew where to tap. With the mood mover, you know where to tap. You know to move your eyes up, to turn up the corners of your mouth, to use a positive internal dialogue word, yes, 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 to move the physical body. And that combination activates serotonin and helps to create a new chemistry moving in your body. Now, you may want to be able to do this silently. Um, I remember a lawyer years ago asking me in a training I was given, um, 
whether what my thoughts were because he was concerned that if could if men could hear him if people anybody could hear him from the men's bathroom um shouting yes 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 so there could be some concerns and i thought that was a fair point so you can totally do this silently if you need to okay so i could be standing between uh, behind a half open door and as long as no one can see me i can be doing the mood mover and it's absolutely fine so don't let sound be a barrier to using this fabulous tool because it is really good when you are particularly wound up. So I have all sorts of clients using this in all sorts of situations. Over the years I've had um, kids or teenagers using it before exams, in fact adults using it before exams, barristers before they go into a courtroom, um, school principals, CEOs, um, leaders of all kinds using it before they go into meetings or before they go into a board meeting or in the middle of writing a board report anytime they need to just get into a better feeling state it has so many applications i have a client who taught it to his wife and they will sometimes stop in the middle of an argument and one of them will say hang on hang on we just need to do a mood mover to calm ourselves down they'll stop they'll both do a mood mover and then they'll go again and because they've lowered their heart rate and they've calmed down and they have a clearer mind, they just solve whatever they were trying to solve. So um, be sure to share it with your nearest and dearest and your colleagues as well. It's actually a really good one to share with your team at work as well because then you've all got awareness of being able to shift your state so readily and sometimes if a meeting is feeling sluggish or slow or fr there's friction, um, it can be a good time to say, hang on, let's just time out and do a mood mover. And even if some people sit it out, just watching other people shift their nervous system like that can often loosen them up and help, help them feel better too. Just be, be sure to um, take those opportunities to help yourself feel good because when we feel good, we think better. Bye for now.